Hello, how you doing? This is uh, Scotty Bear back for another video. Uh, this one will be probably pretty interesting if you are considering uh, doing some uh, no banning or uh, nomadic lifestyle type thing. The uh, reason why I do this video is not because I am trying to be a digital nomad per se, is or a digital nomad blogger per se would be more because, uh, you know, I watch these videos too like you and, you know, honestly, um, they're mostly fake and uh that's uh that's frustrating because uh i've taken some advice from some of the videos and uh you know really it's uh it's like wow so uh you know i don't like to talk about certain things in my experiences and uh today we're going to talk about living in tijuana and versus or the zona norte area um as far as this video is concerned maybe the ensenada tijuana um mexicali area and uh you know i've traveled around that area quite a bit maybe for a good part of uh five to seven years and uh also um uh the difference between maybe asia and uh philippines uh bangkok thailand uh vietnam um china some of the experiences there and what you might expect and uh you know some things maybe you not have thought of uh, the first being, um, you know, uh, you know, I was born and raised in Southern California, um, you know, was brought up around uh, Mexicans. Uh, so Tijuana was pretty natural for me. I didn't go at Tijuana from the, uh, you know, thought, hey, I'm going to live there. Um, actually, I went to Tijuana as the idea where, um, you know, I, I'm a surfer. So, um, you know, I couldn't afford to live in California. So um, Tijuana was a solution. Let me uh, grab a little drink here. And, um, you know, Tijuana is a reasonable uh, place. Um, uh, maybe a little nicer than maybe you think, and uh, maybe a little more dangerous than you might think. Um, I can tell you, you know, for one thing for sure, I had very little issues with, with Tijuana. I did have my car stolen in about three days flat. Um, and, uh, I did have some, you know, situations and, you know, I've had, you know, issues over here in, uh, you know, Asia as well. Actually the very first day, you know, I came to Asia, I left my ATM card in an ATM in a Chinese airport or an airport in China and, uh, had to have it shipped over to the Philippines. And, uh, that was a, you know, interesting time right out the gate uh, but yeah i've had equally you know uh you know good and bad experiences on both sides um you know I'll go over a few things uh you know for each uh you know tijuana and stuff like that uh one of the main things about uh, you know the cost and stuff because you know it seems to be what most people are concerned about is you know how, how does the cost affect me and where i'm coming from i'll tell you that the the cost in in mexico um yeah it's cheaper or cheap ish um you know it really depends how you're going to use tijuana um uh what you're going to do uh you know a lot of people live there across the border frequently to go to work and uh so on and so forth and you know kind of really just kind of use it as a living place and commute back and forth regularly which is very popular um you know i live there more on um i would say across uh you know moderately uh i wouldn't say daily i would say maybe bi-weekly a couple times a month maybe more frequently when you know i was doing something or uh you know going somewhere uh per se and you know had to do different things uh you know across the border um you know but that brings me to my first point uh, about living there um you know, one of the beautiful things about, you know, th that lifestyle specifically is how close you are to the United States. Um, you know, Tijuana is, uh, you know, a stone's throw over the border, um, along with Mexicali. And, you know, of course, Ensenada, Rosarito Beach are, you know, very close also. But, uh, you know, Playas uh, down Tijuana was remarkably close and very accessible to, um, you know, United States in, in very short order. It being my other point would be, you know, in Asia, you have your, um, you know, you better have your travel 
pillows ready because you know really it is a trek to the united states i've spent multiple nights uh, sleeping in airports on delays being denied flying uh <laughs> very interesting situations actually um one being uh you know i was denied flying on a flight into china uh just like frankly you're not going and i was like ah you know it's uh very uh difficult to understand especially when you're like you know you're from america per se and you know that stuff doesn't happen you know there you know all that much you know that also going into a point maybe about you know mexico and tijuana and the immigration uh you know the immigration process for americans in general i i guess you know it's mostly friendly i would say across the board but um you know, it's very easy to, you know, slip in and out of Mexico. I mean, no one really cares. Um, you know, I had a visa a couple times, uh, six months, 20 bucks. I mean, you, you can really live in Mexico fairly easy. I mean, uh, you know, the contrast, uh, you know, to that would be, you know, Thailand's very difficult. Um, you know, you gotta be very careful, um, what you say, what you do, um, and uh you know you're on your visa runs and, and different things like that some of that is okay at the beginning because you know it's new experiences and but you can find yourself uh you know up against some time frames actually you know um philippines is kind of a you know interesting one too is but they don't necessarily care too much if you go over your visa date i mean you know they charge you 20 bucks or whatever and you know, uh, but still, it's, uh, you know, it can be unsettling, uh, especially if you're not, uh, you know, or a newbie. And I don't know if I would consider myself a newbie, but I would definitely consider myself, uh, you know, um, you know, maybe in the, you know, I don't know, novice category, maybe. Maybe that's probably the best way to put it. You know, China, um, you know, very rigid and strict and, and so on and so forth. And, uh, uh, Vietnam, uh, you know, the experience there is, 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 um, undescribable. Uh, I am going for my second visa over there and, and, uh, it's going a little better. Uh, but, uh, I tell you from the show up experience visa that I experienced, uh, you know, flying into Ho Chi Minh was, was, I was ready. I was out. I was like, get me out of here. Let's, uh, let's get a ticket. Get me back to the counter. I'm, I'm out. You know what I mean? So, um, and it was the, uh, you know, the, the person I was traveling with, my companion that actually pulled me through and, and we got in and, uh, it was amazing. It was amazing. Um, but, uh, you know, I wouldn't say I lived over in Asia, but I've been over here. Um, you know, I've been over here for a little bit of time. Uh, the cost, uh, differences are, are very close. I would say close, maybe even, you know, um, in some situations, um, you know, I could put Asia in, in the more expensive category because one, you know, you're out of pocket air, airline tickets, you're out of pocket, um, you're out of pocket visa expenses, you're out of talk, you know, return tickets, you're burning tickets, you're, you know, you're, you're going through a lot. I mean, you're going through a lot of money, transit, taxis, uh, you know, you really are going through a lot. Your, your burn rate is pretty quick. Um, you know, if you get, uh, you know, the, the trick to Asia is, is that, uh, you know, going there, um, getting some experience, knowing where to land, um, you know, making contacts, uh, you know, getting past the, you know, walking tourist situation is, is very key in, into having some success in, in some of these places. I mean, one example is where I'm at right now. I am actually in Bangkok and um, you know, I have a go-to joint. I have a place where I trust them. I think, you know, they trust me. I don't know if that's as much of an issue, but, you know, I trusted them. It's a reasonably cheapish place uh, around lots of great food, a lot, around lots of great areas, around a safe area and, you know, an easily, um, you know, accessible in and out, a nice transit uh, around the area and, uh, you know, making it, you know, pleasant and easy to deal with. You know, and that's the way I really describe Mexico too. Um, you know, I spent a lot of time there, living there, and you know, uh, it, and that's where it starts to get cheap. In all, in all these situations, is you know, once you can penetrate past the tourist experience, the 
you know, it gets far cheaper and, and, you know, easier to deal with. And, you know, again, um, you know, depending on where you actually, um, you know, where, where you actually feel like you fit in, I can tell you how, you know, from, you know, where's, uh, you know, my experience really was, you know, I've loved Mexico. I really legitimately loved Mexico. I uh, thought a lot of Mexico, um, you know, I got teeth work, a lot of, a lot of teeth work, um, uh, a lot of dental work, you know, sorry, but uh, the um, glasses, I actually got glasses here in Bangkok too, because uh, they're uh, reasonably cheap. I actually picked up a couple pairs, um, you know, updated my prescription. Um, so I took advantage of that. And, you know, that's one thing that, uh, you know, the foreign company or countries are, you know, really good for, especially being, uh, I don't know about old, but old, older. Um, one thing that's also, um, interesting that maybe, um, uh, you know, marijuana usage, um, you know, it's becoming very popular around the world, uh, obviously, and, uh, there is marijuana usage and, Philippines, Bangkok, and Ho Chi Minh, and, uh, you know, Mexico, and, uh, you know, I do not uh, smoke weed in Thailand or the Philippines, um, <clears throat> for one thing, you can in, end up in prison, uh, tricked, duped, uh, extorted, you know, all, all of that uh, is, a, is a big risk, and, you know, I feel like it's just too much to risk for the actual experience. Um, however, um, Mexico, I have been busted by the police with marijuana on me. Um, actually the Mexican police will, uh, shake you down and, uh, you know, search you right on the spot, you know, search your bags, whatever. Um, and it's not too, you know, crazy. Uh, it may sound a little like, oh, they just can do that. And yeah, they can do that. Um. I gotta tell you, even though that I've been busted with marijuana on me uh, in in Mexico, I can tell you that uh, it still was quite uh, I don't know about dangerous. But that being said, I would not recommend doing like drugs, drugs. You know, um, that that's for sure. I mean, you uh, that's one thing about Mexico. I, I you know I, I met lots of people and so on and so forth and. You know, the Mexican situation or the Mexico situation, um, if you don't have like a purpose being there, uh, you know, or you're just kind of, you know, uh, you know, spending time or whatever, uh, you know, you can find yourself uh, doing some bad things. I uh, actually had a friend die over there. Um, I don't know about exactly a friend, but it's a, definitely a guy I was familiar with. And yeah, he uh, ended up dead uh in mexico and uh you know the zona norte area and so uh you know that, that's one thing i could definitely say about mexico too is you know you know i surf there and um you know i was busy and you know doing my stuff and um you know i found mexico to be you know pretty good but you know it's slow it's definitely slow um you know it could be a very slow life and you know some of that's good right so uh you know the other thing about Mexico is, um, you know, that you should probably know is, uh, you know, it can be dicey. It can be a dicey place to live, and especially now, uh, homicides are up quite a, you know, quite a, uh, a clip here. And, you know, I, I personally didn't have anything super scary happen to me, but I could tell you I had, you know, a couple incidences that were like, what's going on? Um you know, I, you know, and my, my experience is going to probably be much different than yours. Um, you know, on the Philippines, on the other hand, I've had nothing really, you know, sketchy per se. Uh, Thailand, actually, I, I really like Thailand for that is, you know, Thailand is pretty safe in, in general. I would say you don't have to really be on your guard. Um, and then, you know, also, you know, the Philippines or, uh, you know, Ho Chi Minh can be, you know, a little bit, uh, prone to, the snatch and grab situation but anyway i hope that video helped i am out of time again if you love my videos and you know even if you hate them please uh, give me a thumbs up thumbs down you know i appreciate you watching and uh you know give me a comment if you have some questions and uh thanks for watching